Hi guys, welcome to this video about what you can do when you want to see the folder size in Windows, especially Windows 10. So usually it is even enough when you see the file size, but sometimes, especially when you are short on storage on a drive, then sometimes it's really helpful to see the folder size and so I mean you can click on C drive or D drive and you see the folder size here I can click on this uh, sample here maybe you can see a little bit more here so the folder size means size not of a file but size of a folder so usually you would have to right click on a folder and go to properties and then see the total size and sometimes it takes quite long so it's much easier if you can see the folder size so here we see it in the explorer but i think it's not possible anymore i've seen some threads uh, uh threads about that people are asking to bring this option back to have it here in the explorer i don't know i haven't seen this in my computer maybe i have to restart to see it again it would be really nice to have this in the explorer right click on here and select column fold folder size i'm not sure about that so usually when you install this program here you when you open a drive or a folder then it, there will be a new extra folder new uh, like explorer and show you the size so i'm going to show you that later on i think that this is the old version and but the new version still works it's just a little bit annoying how this works but uh, it still works it's free it, it it has no ads it has no annoying things and yeah that's a good thing uh, usually with the open source things i mean there is an other option there are at the moment i think not many options when it comes to folder size or displaying folder size there is one here which uh, when you usually google for that you will find also this tree size free they have three the different options and one is free but it comes with some really strange behavior i mean it's even available on windows 10 uh, the store you can go to the windows store and download it from there but it comes with some really strange behavior and a lot of people are complaining and i had huge problems it caused uh, a lot of uh, programs for me to crash uh, or not to work anymore i haven't been able to restart the pc uh, as normal after using that program so i highly recommend to stay away from tree size free and use the folder size instead i had an old program which was way better than that uh, or better than both versions i can't find it anymore maybe i'll find it if i find it i will make another video about that but at the moment i think this is the best option which we had so we can download it here of course like normal and yeah then uh, you download and then there's a small install of course like always i'm not going to do that now um yeah there's the thing here this uh file which is stored you double click and install it and it will be available so the thing is then actually when you open an explorer file or windows it will open this extra window so i'm going to show you that now so I click on Windows and E and it has opened now a normal Explorer file but it is nothing like special so here on the left side I have my PC here and only when I click let's say on C drive then it will open this thing here on the right side and i mean if you're using that if you want that 
then uh, yeah nice it's okay I mean that's great and you can even uh, order that and you can see where you have the most data used and it's really helpful but if you don't want to have it every time uh, every time when you check a drive or a folder it can be a little bit annoying especially when you open the explorer in a, a large window and then it covers the preview that's a little bit annoying I mean of course you can close this every time but still it's annoying so what can you do you can go to the sysray here and you will have this folder size icon here so you have to right click on it and then you have two options that's the only op these are the only options which you have with this program the show folder size pop-up and the start on window startup and i recommend of course to disable both so it will actually do nothing uh, at the moment after we uh, invoke this I mean yeah after we restart the PC no next time nothing will happen when I open explorer file nothing will happen but then is the question how to invoke this again so it's not too difficult we have to go to the location where we have installed the program usually it will be C program files X 86 and then folder size and we go to the folder and we have this folder size exe file we right click on that and drag it with keeping right clicked here on the desktop and we create an icon and yeah i'm going down again here so we can see this i even can right click and exit now it's gone it will definitely nothing happen anymore with this program but if i need it i can leave this icon on the desktop and every time i need the folder size i click on that and i have everything available i mean i can go down here in the swiss tray right click and show folder size pop-up is already activated that's really nice and yeah so you have it back and next time it won't start or you can just click exit here yeah that's wrong thing uh, you can really go to exit and it's closed again and it won't do anything it won't re uh, restart on reboot or whatsoever so it's a really good thing just uh, the best thing is really you, when you have already opened the explorer and then you click on that and you get right away the extra information about the uh, folder i mean it's a little bit better here uh, visible so let's say we are on c drive and want to have the folder size and then we click on this icon here I don't know why it's not happening <laughs> just before right before it it worked yeah I think I somehow deactivated that so I have exited the program so it is nothing is working now I have this icon I double click and of course now it comes back so this is how i recommend to use that maybe there's a better option i have no idea about that it's a little bit difficult to find instructions about this program but for me it seems that's the uh, way which makes most sense to work with this program so that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments or yeah definitely better solutions how to use this program or maybe you have better solutions uh, to use other free programs it would be really nice if you could leave any kind of feedback down there i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time